Hey Nuggets, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today on Second Life I am going to be showing you how to actually get started all the way from the all the way from the beginning to the end of this video <laughs> basically i'm gonna show you how to completely have a free avatar how you use firestorm and everything is gonna be so detailed in this video as much as i can i made a whole new account just so i could do this video so i called it it's shay <laughs> so basic and i don't know if this is the newest setup for tutorials when you make a new account on second life because when i first got on this was not what i had when i first got on second life so this is very new to me but let me go through the settings first i don't know if this is the same with the original second life viewer and then firestorm but i recommend you get firestorm so i'm just gonna open preferences and oh i think the first thing you should do is go down to firestorm and right here where it says avatar you should put the degrees down to zero so like your head movement is less of, on that but that only happens when i can't really explain it when your animation when you don't have it on right now you have the noob animation on so it's not going to do it right now but when we take that off your avi's head is going to be moving every time wherever your mouse goes basically Another thing is, if you made your account over 18, you should change it to general, moderate and adult so you can go into the adult rooms uh, and making sure you're not banned from it. And also if you have any questions about how I have my viewer pink, so it's right here, you choose skin starlight pink and then it will show it like this you press ok and then firestorm's gonna restart and then you re-log in to firestorm and your viewer is now pink so make sure you press ok when you've done all of that so that's basically like the main thing you should do when you get on firestorm and now we are gonna go through this tutorial so when you if you come in a place that looks similar like this it's going to show you all of these instructions so you're going to use the arrow keys that's what i use to move around in second life and also as for camera controls i don't think it tells you this in the tutorial but um if you come down here all these toolbars it's also like a faster way to get to what you need so right now how i have this is by clicking this eye toolbar and it shows up right here and then you can also have your movement controls and your camera controls right here when you click on avatar so that's another way that's how i used to do it before actually clicking around here another thing about these two toolbars right here is your chat and this is your mic i'm not going to click that because then everyone's going to hear me in the chat <laughs> And this is like when you're talking on the phone, well, in a way, on Second Life. So if someone calls you, it's going to have this on. This is like your friends list, people nearby you, who's online. I just added this person. Speaking of that, I just got on and they were so nice. Like these three people. Well, this is actually myself. <laughs> I had to give myself 20 Lindens just in case I had to get free gifts that were like one linden so that's the only reason so don't mind that but other than that everything we're gonna get is free um but these other people right here they're so nice she actually just gave me a landmark to freebies this is your search bar so when you need to search for new landmarks to go to or you can actually do it right here this um to um the search bar over here or this over here so you got these other places and then this is just a map kind of useless to me to be honest and this is a mini map also useless to be honest and this is how you would take your pictures or you use the shortcut with your keyboard and this is your inventory so this is where you're gonna have all your stuff and 
here is AO so this is how we are going to make our custom AOs if we don't buy it and this is the firestorm quick preferences so where we can change the wind light our hover height which is how low and high we are on the ground in certain places and this is like the wind lights and stuff so yeah so okay i think i've made you familiar with the controls around firestorm now let's actually go through this tutorial so yeah you use the arrow keys to move around and oh yeah as i was talking about the camera controls this right here is like to have a uh, full control to look around the environment like this or to zoom into something and these are like your different angles so this is my front view um, I forgot what you call this one my side view and this is my rear view so this is a view you would use to walk in Second Life and this is basically like uh, what would you call this oh a, a first person view basically and so that's that and the, this is just like to change the camera angle um, if but that's mostly like for when you're taking pictures anyway that did not work for me I actually I'm on a MacBook by the way so I didn't see that option but if I wanted to jump I can just press this right here and I can jump if I wanted to and then flying you get the control right here or it just tells you on the screen so on a Mac for me flying would be F N and up right I'm gonna stop flying now so if you wanted to sit on something you right click or if you're in a MacBook, use two fingers on your trackpad and then yeah, you're, you're sitting down. So you just go through the, the tutorial right here on all of your camera controls. I'm just gonna skip this because this is something you would just take your time on. Right now I'm gonna show you where you would go to to stay in so you can res objects that needs to be resed. Basically like dropping an object on a land. You can't do it everywhere else. So if you see this, it means you can't do that and it will show up in your lost and found folder in your inventory if you try to do that in a place where you can't res anything. But we are going to go to a sandbox where you can actually go to for that. Okay, I think it's this one. Yeah, that's, that's it. So when you type in sandbox, it's the second one. Make sure it says privacy and stuff like that. So that's exactly where you want to be so it should look like this i'm gonna let it load up so this is where you come and then if you wanted to put an object on the ground so you can copy what's in there to your inventory you come right here in within the square and you you do that i should i suggest if you when you come here just make it a habit to go into one of these boxes just in case you don't accidentally lose anything even though it will come back to your lost and found and you can redo it again now what i'm going to be doing is just taking off what she's wearing and then we're going to go into these places where we're going to get our free stuff if you are completely new to second life i will be getting the legacy free body and I will be getting the free Jenna's head, which is called a strong head. I actually don't like it, just because if you was to wear a different skin on it, it just doesn't look nice. And it's low-key hard to shape to me. So when you get a head, get the classic head. For some reason, I thought I had the baby face head. Turns out I have the classic head. So how you take this off, you right click on your mouse or your trackpad and you click detach and it will come off same thing you you just do it for everything else detach, detach and detach after we've done all of that we are going to go to worn and we're going to you know, press inventory and clothing and then bitsy so now you need to pay attention to what i'm doing right here 
we're gonna start removing these t-shirts so remove that so just click on it right click on it and take them off and now the next thing we're gonna do is remove the shoe base and these the lashes detach everything else i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave her animation overrider but i'm, I'm gonna take it off when we have an animation to pawn and actually when it's not gonna exactly be an animation just because they're not really any good free ones so what i would be doing is just getting a free pose and adding it to the animation overrider you can't take off the eyes and the shape and the skin that's bacon mesh so this symbol means bacon mesh and that's what we that's a method we're going to be using to apply our stuff on and yeah this is her clothing i'm not going to take it off I don't want YouTube coming for me about your nudity. Right, so now that we have done that, also by the way, make sure you save your landmarks so it's easy to get to them. And I'm just gonna rename this Legacy Mesh Body instead. I, sh I should find it this time. Okay, so once you type it in like this, Legacy Mesh Body Free Classic, scroll down to the third one. It, this is the one that you wanna go to where it says hashtag free classic and just teleport now i'm just gonna start showing friends only because i'm gonna lag when you get here make sure you just turn your camera around and you should see it like this and then you should then just go in the woman and just click on it it will have a seat and you'll be right here so then we, when we come here we are gonna join the group i think it's right here you click it okay yeah it is so then you click on the chat and then press the shops it's free to join and now what we're gonna do is get the free body which is right here so you click this and it should say it costs one linden it's not showing up for me yet okay yeah and we're gonna pay for that now we are gonna go to Janice so once you've typed Janus main store it should be the first one and teleport also gonna save this landmark make sure you do that just in case you want to come back here and i'm just gonna just hide everyone else first of all before we get this free head when you get here it will look just like this if you did buy lindens just in case you wanted to do that this is the head that i have the classic face and it costs 3,300 lindens but today we are making a completely free avatar so you're gonna click this computer to join the group it's free sometimes you would need to click a HUD right here or sometimes you would need to go in the chat and then click somewhere around there and join the group and then when you look up here this is the gift and we are going to click on it the picture anywhere on the picture and then you just accept the gift so that's done now we have a head now we just need a skin we are gonna go to marketplace i was looking at this i got distracted <laughs> but um the skin i want to get is called meet me yeah there we go so this is the skin that we're gonna get it's totally free and it's really pretty and her other skins are really cute as well if you want to get them i haven't tried them yet but this one is another close one i would get and it does not look that pricey but anyways i'm gonna add this to my cart because there's other free stuff that i want to get on marketplace right now so there is a free dress I'm just gonna call it free dress because I don't remember where I saw it. Oh, there it is right here. So if you type in free dress, this is the one I'm talking about. It's really pretty. I got this when I was new. I'm gonna add this to my cart. It's one linden. As for shoes, I haven't seen any good free shoes. Um, but let me just type in and see if I'll find any. Oh, that's interesting. This looks decent, but that's ugly. Maybe some slides or something will be nice. They might look fairly decent when you keep scrolling. Sometimes they kind of do look good in the ad, but when you have it in world, it 
looks like it was made in 2010 i'm not gonna lie <laughs> okay so we have clothing let's get a free pose i'm gonna get one from stun it looks pretty decent oh wait this one's nice let's get this one i actually tried to get this one but there was nothing in the folder so i'm just gonna try again and see if i'll find anything so this pose was fairly decent i'm gonna get that i know there aren't really any good eyes i don't want to bother looking for that but you know what let's just check i don't know i don't like the quality of the eyes i'd rather just wear a demo because they're not too bad you can't even tell if that you're wearing a demo not gonna lie oh yeah you would need to get an eye lock but it costs 50 lindens and um, that's something you would need to get when you buy lindens an eye lock is very essential because your eyes gonna keep moving and the hood in the Jenna's hood it doesn't really work that much I forgot we need some hair there is actually free hair we can get on marketplace but it doesn't come with a hair base but we can use a base from punk list okay so i was thinking of shigo because she has a group gift hair do not go to her main store because you have to pay to be in the group which is like 150 i think these hairs don't come with a base so we're gonna add that to the car i like this one and so we got the dress we got a pose two poses the skin and we got the hair so let's go ahead and get that i know it's odd to say completely free but you have to pay one linden but one linden is not really that much and then after you're done it should show up right here all the things that you got so let me just hide these so i can accept all of them i'm gonna be unpacking all of this when we get back to the sandbox right now the next thing we're gonna do is go to punk list so type in glamocracy because that is where her store is it's all together with platinum if you don't know so it's the fourth one down here where it says punk list Glamo glamocracy platinum platinum i cannot speak today but yeah when you see that teleport and remember to save the landmark so you don't have to struggle finding it by typing punkless actually has some free hairs over here but it don't have a base but we could still wear it i personally like i'm just gonna wait for it to load up i personally like this one it's so cute and yeah the hair base is not included so we are just gonna use one from her other free hairs so go and buy it's zero lindens so that's great now we are gonna go to a store and get the other free stuff i think only like one of her hairs actually came with a base the others were just the hairs that you were getting you won't be getting a base with it the group gifts are right here this is the one i'm talking about that comes with a really decent base we can wear with the hairs that we just got in the free group gift i think that would be so cute gonna get this i'm surprised we didn't have to join the group for some reason but yeah you can just come here and get as much as these as you like for the eyes i am gonna go to avi glam because that's where she has really nice eyes to me another place you can get really nice eyes from is mila she has some good eyes but in the in the demo you don't really get a lot of options they're just really light okay so when you come here just turn around and you walk into the place right here and then where they got the good eyes actually is if you just walk a little bit further it's one of these aisles right here yeah it's the second to last one over here the one i really like I'm just gonna let everything load up to make sure you're getting the right one make sure you see genus that's the way you're gonna be applying the eyes onto your head using the genus applier i have this one at the moment for my avatar 
and it's pretty cute i like it so to get the demo it's this try on right here and it's zero linden so we're gonna buy that and now let's go get some nails from 1990 she has some free nails and it's free to be in the group as well sometimes she actually has the free stuff outside of her store but just walk in to it okay so she has her free stuff right here and you click this little tablet to join the group then you go in the chat click shop 1990 it's free to join the group you join it there's my main account <laughs> and then you pick the nail so I really like this one you just click the picture and then accept it and now we have some nails there aren't really any free lashes to be honest but let me put the avatar together I'm not sure if I should show you making the shape because it it will make the video longer making the shape I think the shape is really up to you how you want it to look like we are going to go ahead and unpack all of our stuff so it will be in your recent and you're gonna find it right here sometimes they come as a separate folder so that means you don't need to unpack that the ones that you do need to unpack wait hold on I need to use friends only so I'm not lagging the th ones that you do need to unpack is in your object the stuff we got on marketplace will be in your received items right here now we're just gonna go into our objects and unpack what we have here so first we're gonna do the legacy body accept it and then we are going to detach it and also delete it it's not permanently actually deleted you'll find it in your trash in case you need to like unpack it again and then we're going to do the same thing with the Jenna's head so click it sometimes it will appear like this well most of the things you're gonna get on second life will appear with an unpacker sometimes they play music to make it more appealing <laughs> and yeah Oh, sometimes they just come off on their own which is kind of rare sometimes but yeah so now we have the important stuff taken off let's also go ahead and unpack the skin so the meat may skin and that unpacker looks really nice so now we're gonna delete that because we don't want two of the same things bake on mesh symbols will have like a people logo or it will have a tattoo logo i'm gonna show you what that looks like if we see one actually yeah we would because wait i think this is i think you need to unpack this so this one that we got from punk list it's the base and the hair that comes together so like i said other bacon meshes will come as a tattoo usually you can take these off the ones that come with a people logo you can't exactly you can't exactly take them off you're basically you gotta replace it with another symbol that, that looks like this so don't worry it's just like when you put skins on iron for you you're replacing it with something else but yeah that's just so you understand what that is in case you feel like you you're messing up or anything first of all let's add on the body so i know this looks like a lot i should actually explain to you what these symbols are so you really understand what you're doing when you're clicking things because that's what confused me the most about second life i did not know what these icons were and it always made me feel like i was messing up so these orange boxes just mean like it's an object this usually is a note card so you double click it and then you read it what it says right here and then you just go off it these are your shapes so you can um, edit or replace it with another shape if you buy one on marketplace and this logo means it's a landmark 
and this is this the t-shirt always means that you're using an alpha basically it's an eraser <laughs> on certain body parts um i don't really know what this shoe logo is i really don't use it on my avatar but yeah we are gonna add the body so and then we are going to add the feet and then we're gonna add on the hands then now we are going to add on the jenna's head we're gonna add on the head the jaw the eyes now you want to add on the skin so wear it you're not it's not going to appear yet because we haven't baked anything yet so now we're going to go back on the body folder okay it's showing up now a little bit we're going to go on the body folder and go on edit it's going to show up something over here if you have if you buy the full version of the legacy body it it has color on this side and it has more options as well and this right here is it makes certain things invisible basically this is an alpha so if any part of your clothing is glitching you click on this and like it disappears now what you want to do is go on the second circle right here and if this doesn't show up you would need to go in your settings and you need to go on sound and media go to media have all of this clicked on and this enabled you're all good and it should show up so you would need to reapply this hood to see it and now the next thing you would need to do is go on this th these three lines over here and then click on apply bacon mesh so now your skin is applied the next thing you will need to do is bring on the Jenna's hood it's the settings universal hood small click on it and now it will say bakes on mesh right here you click on that and it will look like this so right now you're doing a good job you're getting closer to having an avatar on second life <laughs> the next thing we're actually going to do is her eyes stop moving so it's that right there i would freeze her body but instead of doing that i'm actually going to put her body in a post in a t pose so you go on avatar and you go on post stand and then if it isn't automatically on a t pose you just click through these and find t pose and then yeah you should have your avi looking like this standing still which is great um and now i'm going to quickly uh, remove the outfit she has on go to worn and clothing bitsy and remove the red pencil dress and now the next thing we're gonna go to is received items and this is the dress that we got from marketplace and unpack it and then delete that folder then it's right here at the top so make sure when you're wearing anything on second life it matches the body that you have which is legacy and it looks like this it's really nice i like it but i do need her naked for now because i am gonna edit her shape so you can do whatever you want with the shape but first before we do that it's actually kind of hard to edit your shape when the head looks like this so i suggest coming into here and then well pick what you want i'm gonna pick small the small shape now her head is a normal shape she still looks pretty crazy. I'm gonna also change her feet to be flat on the ground. There we go. I hope you're still with me, like you still get what I'm doing. Okay, so right now, we can actually go ahead and edit her body. So 
you go, you right click on the avatar then you go on appearance edit shape and here is where you will take your time and start editing the shape so let me just fix this lighting because it's way too bright it's still way too bright but oh well this is gonna have to do i'm gonna go ahead and edit the shape how i want it to look like with this head and body and then I'll come back when I'm done so just take your time and shape the head how you want it to look like and I'll be right back Okay, I think I'm done with my shape. I know it probably doesn't look as different from how it did before, but basically what I, I didn't do much because if you play too much with the head, you can actually just mess it up a little bit. I fixed her head shape. I made her look more round, I guess. I didn't do much when it comes to when you actually look from the side of her. It still looks pretty much the same. I actually like the preset of the shape before you actually shape it i mostly worked on her actual body shape i don't know what it looks like yet but when you're done just save it as um like a new call it new shape and then so now i'm gonna have a proper look at the shape that i did it looks pretty decent hopefully I, her ass isn't too big yeah her shape looks pretty nice i also didn't do much to her her boobs I just didn't want them to be that big <laughs> as for her eyes I actually forgot to do her eyes so yeah, as you can see she still looks kind of the same the eyes are already unpacked so it's gonna look like this and the eyes that we want is Jenna's so it will stay right there and you add it in and like I told you that the HUD doesn't really freeze the eyes for that long and it's still moves so this is the only eye you get at least it's the color i want it in i forgot most of her demos have more options but yeah so you click left and right to change the color and then you're gonna use the alpha in the genus hood to remove the system eyes at, in the back you, you can still see it it's right here eyes alpha and you're gonna add that to remove it so yeah now she looks like that and i'm gonna just try freezing her eye again this is what she looks like the shape is really not that bad it's pretty decent but i could probably go back work on her eye shape a little bit more or something and yeah but for now this is this is decent now let me pop back on the dress so we're not naked still <laughs> and let's put on her nails all right we already unpacked it so you can choose any one of these sizes and make sure it's for you're using the one for legacy i like the extra long ones i'm adding those ones on and it's gonna appear right here and they look so nice they go with the outfit too bad she's gonna be barefoot though 
all right so now the next thing we are going to do is put on the hairs we already unpacked it because i was showing you an example of what bacon mesh hair bases look like so i'm assuming ic3 will match the skin yes it did a little bit it matched nice pretty nicely so we're gonna add that and we're going to add on this half wig i just know this is gonna be a cute hairstyle the base is decent for what you get to be honest that's all i can say but yeah i don't know how long punklist is gonna leave her free hairs outside of her store she didn't actually say if there was a time limit to when it would stay up there um hopefully it's still there at the time you're seeing this video if not then just get her other free hairs that have been there for a while and go to marketplace and just put just mix and match with hair bases so yeah that looks pretty decent for now and as you can see you can barely see the demo on her eyes only if you zoom in so now we just need to actually give her an animation this is where you kind of need to pay attention let me just minimize that and remove the um, animation overrider i'm not sure if i actually removed it from the bitsy okay so i haven't yet gonna have to remove that detach it and then we're gonna go to received items again to unpack the pose that we got to use in the animation overrider <gasps> it's right there i don't know why i didn't see it when i had it well good thing it's right here so let's see what that looks like okay it's cute it's pretty cute i don't like the way her eyes are moving i wish the eye lock was cheaper because this is not it <laughs> that is not it but she is cute if your animation overrider ticked on like this then bring it on and click on this screwdriver then the next thing you're going to do is click this plus sign right here and then let just let it rename it new ao set click ok and it's gonna reload sometimes when you put in an animation inside of here it's going to restart firestorm i don't know why it does that but it always does it to me maybe because i'm recording who knows <laughs> and it crashed me out like i knew it would for some people it doesn't do this i don't know i haven't been told that but if it happens to you just log back onto firestorm right now we are back and when you do log back in you just have all of your stuff right here and your received items will be all of here if you were like oh my god where is it it's right there i don't know why it's separately like this for some people they actually just see it over here okay back to what we was doing click ao the screwdriver you want to make sure that you have it in the right place so this is a standing animation we want it as a standing animation anyway and that is where you would put it and this is where you just customize your animations in general so you're hovering jumping st sitting standing but what's actually important if you have linden's and buying animations it your walk your run and your sits is what's like what you would be using the most in second life this part is really easy what you do is just drag and drop it right into the animation overrider sometimes you need to do this twice hopefully i don't need to do it twice because it's always happened to me to do it twice see i gotta do it twice and it should work you can put in as m many animations as you want in there wait i need to unpack this as well I also can't exactly tell you the difference between add and wear in Second Life. It's pretty confusing to be honest, but when you wear stuff it usually interferes with your avatar and you would need to fix something just because you, you wore it instead of adding it. 
so since we just unpack that you delete it and you go in your recent and you find it right there just move that as well in the animation overrider oh i forgot make sure the tick is on as well so you, it actually works so when you press the tick you can see your avatar posing with posing with the animation and to actually use multiple animations in your overrider you have the cycle on and then you click you put a number on i have 270 on my other account and then just click it again and it will just like um change on its own like when you're walking and stuff right now we don't have a walk we just have a stand so yeah this is pretty decent for now when you're starting out i've seen a lot of people new looking like this i should probably edit her shape a little bit more because um she is looking kind of odd but this is the best i could do when you get more lindens you will be able to get a new head you can actually just stick with the free legacy body because it is 5k it will cost you a lot so i suggest when you get lindens you should spend like 7k which is maybe close to 20 dollars i think no tw yeah 20 something because 5k lindens is 20 dollars i suggest you get about 5 7k so get 3k for the head and then the rest can go to getting eyes more clothes and you can just stick with the free body until you want to spend 5k on a new and the full version of the body but for now this is pretty decent and that's a pretty good start to second life to me to be honest i think i'm pretty done actually so this is a good look at what she actually looks like when her eyes aren't moving like crazy so I had 20 lindens and I only spent about 6 lindens in total. That's pretty cheap. We didn't get much. That costed 1 linden. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and I hope I made some sense because I know I can be all over the place, not make any sense. But if you still have any more questions and look, it changed the pose like I said it would. And yeah, if you have any questions, um, feel free to let me know. I think her, her hands are still too big. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you in my next video.